Welcome back to Craven Cars. And, uh, well, we did a thing last weekend. We went to the Kansas City Convention Center to go to this 60th World of Wheels in Kansas City here. It was fantastic. Filled up the entire convention center. Uh, it was such a great show. They have uh, awesome builds, awesome cars, and, and all kinds of stuff. But you, you guys already... Uh, you guys already know that we were there, right? Because you caught the little teaser kind of video that got released right, you know, showing us kind of go down to the show. Got to drive a car. It's really awesome. Um, you, you, you look, you look like you, you might have. Did you miss it? Well, just, just go click up here first. Come back. Or finish this, and then you can go back and watch it. But kind of an intro to us uh, there. The thing is, is I, I got there, and I was ex so excited to do it and shoot the video and bring it to you so you can see it. Well, I forgot to shoot kind of like an intro uh, when we got there. First one that we're going to release here is going to be kind of the main show. So if you missed the show, you don't want to miss this video. This is the one that's really going to kind of give you an idea of what it was all out there. And in this one, too, we got this uh, a really cool interview that we got to meet up with one of the guys who actually coordinates the majority of the show. He does some really cool stuff. He does them for all the World of Wheels. He's got one tremendous background, of course, in automobile history. Interact with this one, too. So you see some cool cars, and you got something to say about uh, some of the cars. Or hey, pick your favorites, too. Um, and comment those uh, down, down below. So we always love to hear from all you cravers out there. Don't forget, we've got more than one video for World of Wheels coming out, so you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because I'm not... I mean, and then if you really want to get the notifications too every single time, hit that bell icon that's kind of next to that because that's going to let you know when the next video comes out so you can, well, so you can be some of the first ones to watch it. So you can have the bragging rights to let people know what you saw on Craven Cars. I, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. Pretty exciting. But hey, uh, uh, anyways... Let's get into it. Let's get in the world of wheels. And uh, yeah.
Uh, here at Craven Cars, we always, always enjoy getting some famous people onto the channel, and we've got one right here, Ricky Bobby! Woo! Shake and bake! What's up? Oh, how's the season going this year? Fantastic, I'm points leader. Points leader? Yep. When are you not the points leader? Never, never, ever. well, one year, one year. One year I was upside down, right toward the end. Oh. I don't even remember that. You don't remember that? Yeah. No? Cameras probably remember though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So what are you doing <laughs> out here? What is this show? What so, are you doing? We're at World of Wheels, the 60th. World of Wheels, the 60th, 60th year. Fantastic. Of World of Wheels out here at Bartle Hall. Or so is, is it just wheels or do they have cars too? Well, um, it, it's a world of them. A world of I wheels. Know, I think I think whatever comes attached with the I wheels. I think you probably have to have something attached. Some some like that. I see is, some something. Did you bring attached. your car today? Uh, no. Well, yeah, actually, I got here in a car. You got here in a car? Yeah, okay. I think it was a Chrysler. <laughs> it's Chrysler. Yeah, I think not it was. the one you go on the. No, no, it was down. just it was an Uber. It's an Uber. You ever done that? Oh, what's yeah, the, it's like this newfangled thing. I don't know. They come pick you up. It's kind of like being fancy. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like, man, almost like a cab. Well. It's an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting right. idea. Yeah, it's interesting. You, you, idea. you call somebody, and you pay somebody for them to take you somewhere. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. It is a lot. It's like having a taxi. <laughs> there it's you a lot, go. Except for they're amateurs. They're yeah. all amateurs. Nobody's Absolutely. a professional. But, no, except for you. But on yeah, well, sure. Honestly, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have amateurs. Yeah. I'd rather go against amateurs any day. Yeah. 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 It's easy. Much right. easier. All right. So, woo. Hey, if you ain't first, your last. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Woo.
look at that thing. You're a big time here. No, I'm not. I'm just a guy. <laughs> you're you're in a hall of fame of some type. I'm in the, the Canadian. Right Can yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, we have the Canadian Street Road Association, which has been in existence for, I guess, I say 35 years, 40 years, 40 years. So when it, when the Canadian Street Road Association was 25 years old, they put 25 people into a hall of fame. So they asked the membership, which is both in Canada yes. and state, to vote for sponsors, people, or so on. I wrote, they had a magazine, which I wrote for for 23 years, a monthly column and editorial. So I was fairly well known in the association. So I got into the hall of fame. I was one of the first ones. So it's, it's a big deal. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It really is. Guys, we are here with Larry Way. And I want Larry Way to explain a little bit more of what he does for World of Wheels. But as you can see, his little, right there, he's a, uh, you got some importance with the World of Wheels. Well, and now we're at the 60th now. Tell, let, let people, what's your position? What do you do for World of Wheels? I do, I do media and public relations. So most of this work is done from my home, from my home office. So what, so what I do, I, I try and get us on TV, get us in newspapers, get us on all the local entertainment sites, anything we can do with radio, with online. You guys are a big, you guys, what you do are a big part of, our, of what we do to get the message out. So I try to get with people and try and get as much extra as we can. Then when I get here, I, I do my own interviews. Yesterday morning I was in at 4.30 with two television stations. I'll do my, because I've judged for 40 years and I understand the cars. So yep. I, I, I do my own interviews. So I was in early and then I work with the media. And then once that's done, usually by Friday night, I'll work directly with the celebrities. I'll pick them up at the airport. Uh, most of the time we'll work with them on stage. Tonight I'm selling, but it just, tomorrow I'll be working with, um, with a celebrity, I'll pick him up. We're picking him up at the airport tomorrow morning. I'll work with him and take him back to the airport. And then I, I, I have next weekend off. The last two weeks I have been working. So I came here directly from Dallas on Monday. I get to go home tomorrow for eight days. And then I do two more shows and I get to go home for another week and I do another show. And then that's the end of the March. Then our series of shows are done. Now that's the end of March. And then I, where I live in, in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, I run my own series of shows in the summer of which I have 15 okay. shows. Uh, seven of them I produce myself. The other ones are associate shows, but we're all part of a series that are all, my shows that I produce are all sponsored, all free. Uh, we have at least $500, $800 of door prices at all my events and any of the other oh, wow. associate okay. shows that charge 100% of the money goes to charity. So all, the, all our That's shows are, are for charity. So people say to me, how do you make money? I don't. This is a chance for me to give something back. So that's, that's what I do in the summer. Uh, uh, we love it. Uh, Craven Cars does take part of a lot of charity events, and we help do that same kind of thing. Even though we might get into shows where people are like, hey, you know, come on in. We got you on the list. I'm like, but all your proceeds go to charity, right? He goes, well, then here's my donation. You know, I don't care if I do the video for now. Let, let's do this. Let's let's spread it out. Let's get the video out there. Let's get more people and stuff like that. And, uh, and even speaking of celebrities, you were the one who walked Jamal Charles onto the stage today. So you really... Yeah, so, you, yeah, there was me and a, and, a, and a policeman, yeah. Like, I'm a tough guy, right? But but, he, but this is a buddy of his that lives here. He's a, he's a Kansas City policeman. So he came and he and he came with us, which is just as well. Now, I picked nice. up Jamal at the airport. Um and then we brought him to the hotel, and then his buddy came and met him. And then they're going to go out afterwards. So it's good that he has Very somebody cool. with him, but they're going out because yeah. he's so well known in this city. Well, I, I thank you for what you do. Uh, thank, and thank you guys and everybody that helps us. I mean, it's it's good for it's good for TV. It's good for for YouTube. It's good for online. It's good for everything. What we have, we have a great product, which is the car owners. Yes, we have celebrities. And I, when I speak publicly, I talk about this. But it's a car show, no matter what. It's the, yes. th these guys that these guys and gals that bring their vehicles. This is this is what it is. This is a car show. Today we did not have a celebrity. This place was jammed. There's lots of people still have a strong interest in cars. Yeah, we use celebrities to bring more interest, bring in more people, and so on. But it is a car show. Yeah, and is. the things that you it guys is. do, like you, yeah. that, um, is a big part of this. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate. I, you're coming thank from you. you. That means it's a heck truth. of a lot. No, it's the I'm truth. It's the truth. We can't we can't do it without you guys. No. And, uh, and the attendance of the show just keeps getting bigger and bigger every single year. Bye. We really like this city. Yeah.
Especially, and, especially and, our, car, our producer who just left here. And so. Kansas City really likes Autorama, so I mean. And there's not, and we've got great weather, there's no precipitation, and there's not much going on, so this is, we lucked out this week. Well, Larry, thank you very much thank uh, you for giving me a couple minutes. Did. I know you have to attend to uh, Jamal here in just a moment, and uh, hopefully sell plenty of uh, pictures for him. Let's and hope. Get that going, so thank you so much. Uh, appreciate it. I hope to see you again. Uh, whether it's at World of Wheels next year or hopefully I can make it to another show or something. Fantastic. Look forward to so, it. Thank you so much alrighty. for everything. No thank problem. you. No problem. Thanks again for all you do. this car out real quick uh, this is a 1939 Chrysler Imperial it's got 26,000 original miles on it it's a 323 straight eight and this is on its second owner who bought it in 2018 so only a couple years ago uh, paid four thousand dollars for it interiors original I, I love because you can see the wear the tear in it the originality the outside uh, they had to rebuild some mechanical stuff like the engine and stuff because this 19, 1939, it got put in storage in 1968 and it was in storage all the way up to 2018 to when this guy uh, purchased this vehicle and brought it back. And I just want to, the reason I want to point this out is because they didn't change much. They didn't redo the whole body. They didn't redo anything. It's rust free. Uh, and I really want to point this out to the fact of, because here is somebody who took a car that wasn't being enjoyed, that wasn't being shared, that wasn't being shown. It's been in storage, they took it out, and they brought it to a show for all of us to enjoy the history of it, the story behind it, and it's just cool that now this car has been reborn and it runs. Thank you for whoever bought this car.
That's right, Super Bowl champs right there. Go Chiefs. Kind of cool. They uh, they have uh, certain vendors and stuff. They they make things just to put up for auction to go to charities. So always a very nice thing to do stuff for charities. excited at the end because um, we get to see them roll, start up, rev, it's into the show, they don't care. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us uh, this year at the World of Wheels, the 60th World of Wheels here in Kansas City at Bartle Hall slash Kansas City Convention Center. Um, I get to now uh, roll out of here in that 69 Buick Skylark. It is, uh, it's going to be a blast. Uh, nice little journey home after a cool time at the show. I mean, this has been a fun weekend. It's been, a, like I said, it's been a blast, but hey, Everybody out there, you guys, like, uh, share, leave, leave some comments to let us know what you think. And hopefully if your car was in the show, we got it on the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And more importantly, to all you cravers out there, keep craving. Welcome back to Craven Cars. My name is Corey, and uh, as you may have known, that we made it out to the World of Wheels today. Today. This, this year, uh, this last weekend. Uh, I'm not sure when you're watching it, but it was last weekend for me. I uh, I got so excited at the show that I, I forgot to do an intro. So here I am.